So we're going to start with. So let's want to look at some other tasks together. But most of those things you'll be doing under HTML will just be tax, tax, tax. Once we look at something called anchor tag, anchor tag. This anchor tag is used to link pages together. Anchor tag is used to link pages together. So let's start doing that. And also, it's also used to to redirect users to another website or another page. Anchor tag is used to link pages together or also to direct users to another page. Let's look at an example. Maybe we want to do something like this. Click on this link to visit Facebook. Something like this. Can we see your screen, sir? Oh, sorry. Can we see my screen now? Please, can we see my screen now? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. yes we can see it. Thank you. All right, thank you. Sir. So maybe we want to do thank something you. like this. Anchor tag. We want to use, like I said, anchor tag allows us to link pages together. Then we want to do something like this. Click on this link to visit Facebook. And when the user clicks on that Facebook, uh, and when the user clicks on that link, you will take the user to Facebook. That is possible with anchor tag. So let's do this together. Let's run it on the browser first. This is. So when I click on this text, I want to take the user to Facebook or maybe to Twitter or to another page entirely or to a different page entirely. So when I user click on this, we want to take the user to somewhere else. Let's look at how anchor tag works. Anchor tag is A. It's represented as A. A. This A means it's an anchor tag. Whatever I put within this place, let's people just put hello. Whatever I put within this place will be treated as a link. Again, this anchor tag is a whatever i put here will be treated as a link so this hello now is a link and when i click on this hello i want to take the user to somewhere else or to another page so the next is where do i want to direct the user to when the user clicks on this link let's first send this on the browser at the moment nothing happens if i click on this that's because I'm yet to state where I want to direct the user to when the user clicks on this word, hello. So let's fix that. There's an attribute called href. Href. This href will be the one to direct the user to a page. That is, when the user clicks on this hello, what do you want? Which page do you want to direct the user to? So let's start with this. Maybe I want to direct the user to twitter.com. So I'll put the URL of Twitter here. Twitter.com. So when the user clicks on this hello, the user will automatically be redirected to twitter.com. Let's run this on the browser and see the results together. So can you, do you notice that it has underlined this? And when I move my mouse around it, you have this. So if I click on it now, it will take me to twitter.com. It's already loading and it has taken me to twitter.com. Let's go back. So, let's have another one. If I want to take the user to Facebook, I'll come here and I'll put the text here. Maybe go to Facebook. So when the user clicks on this go to Facebook, the user will be taken to whatever URL I put here. So I'll put the URL of Facebook here. Facebook.com. So when I refresh the page now, and the user clicks on this go to Facebook, the user will be taken to Facebook.com. Do we have any question? Okay. 
Let's move on. I can do something like this. Click on this link. Oops. So this is Facebook. Now I want you to know, let me quickly admit the person who is in. I want you to look at this. Click on this link to visit Facebook. Note that this link is the only one within this anchor tag. This text is not within the anchor tag. This text, they are not within the anchor tag. Only this word link is within the anchor tag. This is the opening and this is the closing. Then I'll put the URL of Facebook here. One thing I want us to notice. When I click on this link, this word link, it will take me to Facebook. But when I click on any other thing, maybe on this, it's not going to take me to Facebook because it is not within the anchor tag. And when I click on this, it will not take me to Facebook because it's not within the anchor tag. Only this word link is within that tag. This is the beginning. Look at it from this. If it looks confusing, look at it from this perspective. So this is the beginning. This is the opening tag. And this is the closing tag tag only this word link is within this tag so i'll put the attribute hf hf here so when i when the user clicks on this word link it will take the user to facebook.com now let me run it in the browser so if i click on this it's not going to take me to facebook if I click on it, it's not going to take me to Facebook, but, I, what, but if I click on this one link, it will take me to Facebook.com. Let's proceed. If you observe something, you will realize that when I click on this, it's taking me to Facebook and somehow it's taking me, uh, it's closing that page. Maybe you want it to, you don't want that to happen, you want it to open a new tab instead. Instead of closing that page, you want to open a new tab when I click on this so you can add a new attribute to this thing there's another attribute called target then you say blank what this does is once there is this once this target the value is blank once it's blank when the user clicks on this if you take the user it will open a new tab instead of redirecting taking me away from that page instead it will just open a new tab beside the last when you know there are some pages like that when you click on links on those pages it will open a new tab for you instead of closing it let's try this out so that you understand this better let me close this now i will click on this word link and look at what will happen can you see that it has opened a new tab for me it has opened so i can easily go back to this it has opened a new tab that's because of this target blank Let's click on this again. If I click on this, it has opened a new tab for me. If I remove that target blank, that will not happen. If I remove this, and I go back now, I refresh this page, and I click on this, as you can see, it's not opening a new tab. Instead, it's, it's directing me to facebook.com right on that same page. So you can it depends on what you want to do. If you want it to open a new tab, you use the target equals to underscore blank. But if you want it to remain on that page, like you don't want it to open a new tab, you you do you won't put it. Any question before we proceed? Okay, let's proceed. Next is this. Uh, this the value here or whatever we put here so far it's been we've been putting external URL like we are not the owner of facebook.com we are not the owner of twitter.com we've been putting external URL but we want to stop that now we want to do something else someone asked the question yesterday the person said on our page we are going to have contact page about page and all of that that how then do we how do we build such uh application so we're going to do that now 
So I will create three files. Number one, I will create a landing page. I will call this landing. I will create a new page. I will call it landing. Dot HTML. This is the landing page. So I will say landing page. And I will just say welcome to my website. So welcome to my website. This is the landing page. Then I will click the about page. About page. I will say about dot html and i'll say the title will be about page and i'll say this is the about page so i have the about page. let's add a new page contact page i'll get another file i'll call it contacts html Contact page. Then I'll say contact us using this. Okay. Someone wants to join. Let me quickly admit this person. Okay. So so far we have three pages. We have the landing page. We have the about page, and we have the contact page so this is what we want to do right on the landing page i want a situation whereby when a user clicks on something it will take me to about page something like this about us so when a user clicks on this word about us we want to take the user to the about page and when a user clicks on we can have another one called contact us here yeah. contact us when user clicks on this contact us, it will take the user to this contact page. That's what you want to do now. So what you do is this: you come here and say, okay, you can just put it there. You put it your anchor tag. Open, close. Remember, the anchor tag allows you to redirect a user to another page. But the only difference is, the page you want to redirect the user to now is inside our application is not elsewhere if it was to be elsewhere we would have done it the way we did the other time. http https then the name of the website we would have done some maybe facebook twitter or instagram or anything we would have done something like this but this is not like that this is uh on our own page so we can say just go to about.html go to about that html so when the user clicks on this it will just take the user straight to this about page the reason it's possible like that is because look at something here is our landing page here is about here is contact all of them are inside the same folder they are directly inside the same folder and because they are inside the same folder all you just need to do is just hide the name of the file the name of this file is about.html so when the user clicks on this, it automatically takes the user to about.html. So let's do the same thing with contact page. I will say contacts.html. So here is the about. When a user clicks on this, it take this to take the user to about.html. When a user clicks on this, it take the user to contact.html. Let's run it on the browser and see the results. Um, open the browser. So I'll click on this about, and as you can see, I'm on the about page. We are on the about page, and I will go back now and click on this contact us. As you can see, we are on the contacts. Page. Maybe I want a situation whereby when the user clicks on this, we want to take the user back to the landing page. So let's do that together. We can now see. Maybe go back to landing page or something like this. Landing page. So 
we have this, I will just copy this and paste it here. So let's see what happens. Here, when a user clicks on this landing page, it will take the user to landing.html. And the same thing here, when a user clicks on this, it will take the user to landing.html. So, when I click on this now, it's taken to landing.html. I can go to the about page, then I can go back to the landing page, then I can go to contact page, then I can go back to the landing page. Any question? Okay, let's proceed. Aside that, we still have one more thing you can do with this anchor tag. Initially, we started with visiting pages outside our application. If you are doing that, use the HTTP, then the name of the website. Then, we talked about visiting pages within the application, which is what we just uh, did. Then, we want to look at visiting sections on the same page we can also use this anchor tag to visit section sections on the same page meaning you are not if, if as you are not leaving this page you are not leaving that page you are just you just want to use it to visit different sections of the page let's do that together how we populate this page with a lot of text i'll just say let me populate it many text. I just copy this and uh, so let's run it. Let me see if the text are much enough. I just I want a lot of text on the page. Please no, I still want more text. You understand what you want to do now. Copy Good. So we have this. Good. We have a lot of text on this page. A lot. Then we want to do something. I will go to my code now and type some things there. I will say this is bottom of the page. I will just say this is the bottom of the page. I want to create a gap. There is, to create a little gap, you can use the BL tag. This BL tag, we have it to create a line, like an, uh, it will break to the next line, something like this. You understand what we're doing now? Let me refresh this. This BL tag is the one responsible for this. Normally, without the BL tag, this is the bottom of the page, should be on the same line with this. What I mean is, if I remove this BL now, I've commented it as. If I remove it, and let's see what happens. As you can see, they're on the same line. But I want it to break to the next line. So I'm putting it in the middle here. So this will break to the next line. That's not where we are going to. This is the bottom of the page. I will go to the top of the page and say, Welcome to my website. I want it to be on another line also. I will go to the top. I will break again. Be up. So, good. Now, this is what we want to do. Imagine a user wants to jump from here to this is the bottom of the page. Maybe I don't want to scroll. I don't want to scroll. I want to say, maybe when I click on something, I will just take the user straight to this bottom of the page. Again, instead of, imagine I have a lot of content on the page. Do you mean the user will now start scro scrolling and scrolling and scrolling? No, maybe I don't want that to happen. I want a situation whereby when the user clicks on something here, I will just take the user straight to this place. And when user clicks on something here, I will just take the user straight to the top of the page. That's what we want to do. We can use the anchor tag to do that also. So maybe I want to, I can do use this for this. I can say when user clicks on, I 
can say if text code go to bottom go to bottom when the user clicks on this text i want to take the user to the bottom of the page that's what i want to do so what you're going to do is you will use an anchor tag also anchor tag close it next is remember the hour remember how the anchor tag works the anchor tag expects something here called href it expects something called href and href is where the user will be directed to when the user clicks on this button now it's not on another page we are we want it to be on the same page that is the funniest part of this if it was to be on another page, I would have put the name of the page. Maybe if it wanted to be about, I would have put about dot HTML. But in this case, it's not on another page, but on the same page. So what will now be the value of the href? That now brings us to something called ID. ID. You will learn this more when you get to CSS, but let me just introduce it to us. ID stands for identifier. Identifier. Identifier is like a matric number of something. A matric no is unique. A matric number will be unique to a student. Same way, an ID is expected to be unique. So we are going to give the text here an identifier. This is the bottom of the page. We do this an identifier so that it's now going to know that when we click on this button go to when we click on this go to bottom it will take us straight to that identifier again i come again we want to look at something called id id stands for identifier so what we want to do is that when the user clicks on this we now say that look for a particular identifier we are going to instruct it look for this identifier and take the page to wherever this identifier is and since an identifier is unique that is two items cannot share the same identifier it's expected to be unique then this instantly is not going to be confused like it's not going to be confusing to our code because it's unique it will just go straight to that identifier so let's go we are going to give this an identifier now so in order to Make it easy to give it an identifier. I put it inside the P tag. This is the bottom of the page. Then give it an identifier ID. The identifier can be anything, like anything of your choice. I can call it for you to know it can be anything. I will just call it title, something like this. Let me quickly uh, assert the person time to come in. The identifier can be anything of your choice. In this case, we are using Taiwo. So what we are now going to do is this. We will come to the top here and say that whenever I click on this, on this, look for the identifier called Taiwo and take us to that place. So an identifier is a unique name. You are giving to it, maybe a tag. You are giving, an identifier is a unique name that you will give to something. So here we are giving it an identifier called Taiwo. We are keep giving this an identifier called Taiwo. So we now say that whenever anybody clicks on you, this anchor tag, whenever anybody clicks on this, navigate or take us to the identifier called Taiwo. So we're going to say take us to the identifier. You just say hash. This hash means go to this identifier called Taiwo. That's what we, that's what the meaning of this. Go to the identifier called Taiwo. That's the essence of this hash. This hash tells HTML that oh you want it to go to an identifier. If the hash is not there, it will assume that this is the name of a page. Just like this about.html. Oh sorry. It will assume that this is the name of a page. That's why we are putting hash at the beginning like this. By putting hash here, HTML knows, knows that, oh, what you have here is not the name of a page. Instead, it's an identifier. So, it's to look for the ID 
called Taiwo and take us to that place immediately. So let's run it. So I will click on this go to bottom. As you can see, it has taken me to the bottom of the page. So I click on it again. It is also taken to the bottom of the page. So let's repeat it so that we get it better. Maybe I want to do something. When the user clicks on this, I will come to the bottom. I want to see go to top. I want to say go to top. So when the user clicks on this word, go to top, I want to take the user to the top of the page. So to start with, I'll put an anchor tag here. So this is an anchor tag. When user clicks on this, where do I want to direct the user to? I don't know yet. I will go and give this an identifier, the top of the page. I will just give a text at the top of the page, an identifier. I can give it to this welcome because it's at the top of the page. I can just put this inside. For now, we can use a P tag to do that. And just give it an identifier ID. The ID can be anything. Here, I'm giving it Ken. Top and bottom would have been better, but I'm using these names intentionally so that you know that it can actually be anything of your choice. So, ID here is Ken. So, I will now go back to the bottom of the page and do something and say that when I click on this, look for the identifier called Ken. So, when anybody clicks on this, it's going to look for the identifier called Ken. So let's see what happens when I come here and I click on go to top to take me to the top of the page. I'm at the top of the page now. And when I click on go to bottom, it's taken to the bottom of the page. One question you might ask is, well, is it a must that this is P tag? No, it can be anything. And for you to know that it can be anything, I can change this from P tag even to maybe H1. Just for you to know, this is just for sake of explanation. It can be any tag, any tag. Just give it an ID. And this ID must be unique. Unique in the sense that I must not have any other ID on the page with that same name. Meaning that I can't come here and give this Kenny. No. Because there's already a Kenny. There's an, already an ID with Kenny. So you shouldn't give two items the same ID. An identifier is meant to be unique. So here, I'm giving this h1 an id called ken so when the user clicks on this go to top it will look for this id called ken and take us to that place so let's go to the browser and see if it's still working like before so go to the top of the page click on this yes it's fine and click on this we are back at the top do we have any question Question everybody. Do we understand? Are you with me? Can you hear me? Hi. If you can hear me, say hi. Hello. Hi. Okay. Okay. Hi. Hello. We can hear you. Okay. Okay. Do we understand what I just explained? We can hear you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Do we understand the explanation? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's an uh, identifier. Really? identifier good. When we get to CSS, you will understand more about 
identifier css and javascript we will learn more about identifier but for now that's all we'll be using this identifier for before we go to b i want us to look at few more tags these are the majors we want to learn today the anchor tag the anchor tag but before we go i want us to look at few more tags so, but let's revise the anchor tag before we look at other tags again anchor tags allow us to direct the user to somewhere else to start with you write the anchor tag like this this is the anchor tag and you put the text here this can be anything when the user clicks on this text, you want to direct the user to somewhere. So that would be inside the href. If it's an external website, you put the URL, the HTTPS, then the name of the website. But if it's a page inside your application, you just put the name of the page, about.html. Then if it's a section on the same page, on this same page, you put the identifier here, hash, then the ID. You put the ID here. Yeah. And this is the summary of the anchor tag. So it's either external website or if another page inside your application, then or you put an ID here. Yeah. Any of these things. Another tag we want to look at is the button tag. The button tag. Let's look at how it works. Click me, or just say click me. Let's look at how this tag looks like. You will see a button on the page. Click me. This is how the button tag looks like. When you get to CSS, you'll be able to beautify it and make it lovely, beautiful. Everything we've been doing so far has been well. Looking at the everything we've been doing has been beautiful. But when we get to CSS, we make things beautiful, style it up, design it, and all of that. But for now, HTML is just to define the markup of your page. Markup of your page, and that's what we are doing. So this is the button. This is the button. Button tag. Then, uh, let's stop here today. Tomorrow we are going to look at the image tag. The IMG tag. Image tag. We will look at image tomorrow, and uh, we have few more tags to check before we go. Before we finish this section, few more tags. The image, the video, and the audio. With the image tag, you're able to put a picture on your page. Maybe your picture, you want to put your picture on your page, you'll be able to do that after tomorrow's class. Um, okay. Any question before we go today? Now, assignments. Assignment. You want to create your own page. Your own page. On your own page, you will have a landing page like this. <laughs> I think it's very important to talk about this. The landing page of your application is usually called index.html, not landing.html. The landing page of your application, the common practice or the best practice is to call it index.html that is convention conventions are custom that they are just traditions what we do in the community and it's good to follow conventions so that other developers other people will be able to understand your code better so it is a custom that the landing page of your application that you name it index.html just convention Meaning, if you name it any other thing, it will still work. Just that you are naming it index.html to follow the practice of the community. So, on the landing page of your application, you can have welcome them to your page, maybe welcome to my page, and this. Then, tell them to click on this button to go to about us page. Then, tell them to click on another button to go to the contact us page on the about us page give information about yourself there on the contact us page maybe it writes how you can be contacted maybe you may not necessarily put your phone number you can just maybe your social media and anyone just put little information about maybe how someone can contact you or any of or just uh, i think this is better just put your states 
states alone. I think that's fine. Again, we have the landing page. On the landing page, uh, welcome the user to your page. This is the landing page now. Welcome the user to your page. Then tell put two links, two anchor tags. One to take the user to the about us page. On the about us page, write about yourself. On the contact us page, just say maybe if you want to contact me, just put your state there so that you are like I don't want us to put sensitive information on anything. Just put maybe look up, I live in maybe uh, on the state or I live in just put any state there. I think that's fine. So from when the user go goes to the about page, make it possible for the user to go back to the landing page, meaning you put another link there to go back to the landing page. The same way also when the user clicks goes to your landing uh, to your contact page, make it possible for the user to go back to the landing page. Lastly, make it also possible for the user to move from about page to contact page. And also for the user to move from contact page to about page. I come again on the landing page of the application. Welcome the user to your website, then allow the user to be able to go to the about page from the about page also allow the user to be able to go to the landing page then from the landing page allow the user to be able to go to contact page from the contact page allow the user to be able to go to the landing page lastly from the about page allow the user to go to contact page and vice versa any question In absence of question, we will call it a day. Tomorrow we'll be looking at the image tag. It's it's going to be an interesting session. You'll be able to put your picture on the page on your screen and see how it looks like then. We'll be able to even we'll look at other things, audio, video, you'll be able to put video on your web page. Audio, if you want to play an audio, you'll be able to do that also in the next class. That's tomorrow. Have a lovely night first. Thank you very much, everybody. I appreciate you for coming. Mm, thank you so much, Mr. Tiger. Yeah.